going on, everybody? Welcome back to the 31 Days of R. I am your host, Mood616, and thank you once again for stopping in, guys. Yes, the 31 Days of Horror, Volume 5, Day 7. We are officially one week into the 31 Days of Horror, and still going strong. Very excited to be doing this once again. And, uh, yeah, so for today... We're going to take it back to 2014. I think this movie finally got its Blu-ray release or DVD release in 2017-18, somewhere in there, from Camp Motion Pictures, and it's a film called Call Girl of Cthulhu. Yes, so basically it's kind of a play on H.P. Lovecraft's uh, The Girl of um, The Call of Cthulhu. So a very, very famous story by H.P. Lovecraft. So essentially what we have here is like a huge love letter to H.P. Lovecraft, um, you know, in story. And of course, there's tons and tons of nods all through the film and stuff like that. So uh, getting into the synopsis of this one, basically this one follows our main character, Carter. Now, Carter is a very starving artist, and he is also a very lonely virgin. <laughs> So one day he's kind of whacking off to uh, some porno and he gets this bright idea that he needs to probably call up a call girl. But he calls up the call girl not to have sex with her because he does not believe in premarital sex. He's looking for that right one. He wants to fall in love and have sex with the right girl. So he calls up Riley and, you know, he just wants to paint her. That's all he wants to do. So she agrees to that. He uh, ends up painting her. And they end up going on, out on a date after and stuff. And he ultimately kind of starts falling in love with her. But what he doesn't know is that she has been the chosen bride of the alien god Cthulhu to, you know, give birth to the alien demon that's going to take over the world. <laughs> so now he has to figure out a way to kind of stop that. Meanwhile, this is going on. There's two groups looking for her. The satanic cult uh, that's responsible for putting this whole thing together is trying to track this girl down so they can, you know, have this baby. And there's also this other group that's trying to find her for a different reason. So that is the premise of the film. Now, my thoughts on this one. Um, yeah, man, if you're into H.P. Lovecraft films and you like the whole mythology, H.P. Lovecraft and that whole fantasy world and shit like that, this is awesome, man. It's a great little fun uh, shout out and just strictly nods to H.P. Lovecraft work in general, not just the, the call of Cthulhu, but, you know, his works in general. There's nods all over the film. You know, there's this, the brand name of the condom, and there's a whole pile of little things, little inserts throughout the film that's really fun. Uh, but you can tell, man, these guys were obviously, you know, influenced by trauma films, because there's some of that trauma-esque type stuff, you know, some of the stuff that Lloyd Kaufman did in his films. Uh, it's not as goofy and over the top as you would think it's going to be with a title like this and a premise like this. Uh, it definitely has comedic moments in it, but for the most part, it's actually, it's just a fun film. It's not like, ah, uh, you know, it's not like overly cheesy and it doesn't get to the point where you're like, man, that's just not, the jokes just aren't working anymore. Um, it's actually pretty damn fun. Um, now the acting overall, pretty solid, pretty solid for a picture, uh, for a picture released by Cam Motion Pictures. I was very, very, uh, surprised with that, with the, how solid the acting was. I love the back here where it says a healthy dose of TNA, tentacles and ass. That is true. Um, there is lots of, well, there is also lots of tits and ass in this too, but, uh, you know, the effects in this movie... Um, overall, all practical. So that's the thing I love about these H.P. Lovecraft type films. If they have practical effects, it seems to bring out the story a lot more better. I've seen a lot of H.P. Uh, Lovecraft, you know, influence type films, adaptations of his work and stuff, and they CG the monsters and shit. And it just doesn't work to me because I feel like H.P. Lovecraft should be brought to the, to the screen in a proper way with, even though the effects are a little bit rubbery here and things like that, they're still practical. You still got to give him props for doing that and stuff. So, um... But yeah, man, overall, actually a really fun film. There's a lot of really memorable scenes. I really like the montage scene with Riley and kind of introducing her, uh, you know, all of her, I guess, her Johns and stuff. And uh, there's just a lot of great scenes involved in that and stuff. There's one scene in this film where this dude's like, ah, uh, because she's explaining to, to um, Carter about how you know, they just get weirder and weirder, you know, they get weirder and weirder as they go along and stuff, and she's explaining about this one guy, and, you know, he basically wants her to shit on him, it's fucking hilarious, man, it's so funny, um, but Call Girl of Cthulhu, man, I had a blast with this, it runs about 92 minutes, definitely doesn't overstay its welcome, it's very fast-paced, or it's got pretty decent pacing in it, like I said, the effects are good, the acting's pretty good, uh, it's shot well, the cinematography is pretty good, the sets, the design, the look, the sound is all pretty good, and it's got like a punk rock soundtrack uh, to it, which, you know, I, I don't mind that, I don't mind that, I hate, like, I love death metal, but I hate death metal in horror movies, I just can't stand it, it drives me nuts, um, 
But, um, yeah, man, really, really fun film, and I actually really dug the shit out of the ending. Uh, there's some shit happening towards the end of the film that's actually kind of unexpected a little bit, which kind of made me laugh, but some good gore scenes and good things that are happening in there and stuff. Um, but yeah, man, actually one of the coolest moments in this film for me was actually a little nod to, um, to WNUF Halloween, who the director of this film actually did that film, and his name is Chris uh, LaMartina. And, uh, yeah, so there's actually a commercial playing for that in one of the scenes and shit, which I thought was a really awesome shout-out, because I absolutely love WNUF Halloween special. That is, like, one of the most fantastic Halloween films made of this decade. It's just fantastic. So, um, Call Girl of Cthulhu, man. Like I said, if you're into HP Lovecraft stuff, you like your practical effects, a little bit goofy. If you're into trauma films and stuff like that, this is definitely one to check out. I had a blast with this. I'm going to come in at about a 7 out of 10. Uh, it's definitely not going to be for everybody, just, like, you know, H.P. Lovecraft films and uh, trauma type films. You know, those are the type of films that just aren't for everybody. But if you're into these things, definitely give it a shot. You might dig it. I did a lot. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's definitely one scene I'm just thinking about right now that is so fucking trauma. It's involving his roommate's boyfriend, who's actually a dude that works at the strip club with Riley. He's a, like the DJ. He's such an annoying character. He's probably the most annoying character in the movie. But what happens to him, he kind of gets changed into this alien demon thing. And he's known for, uh, yeah, his nickname is Rick the Dick. So I'll just leave your imagination to that one right there. It's actually really damn funny. Um, but yeah, call Girl of Cthulhu. Check it out, man. I'm just rambling on now. And uh, I'll check you guys tomorrow in day eight for another older film. Don't know what decade or when we're going back to, but I'll check you guys then. And as usual, news is...